Hello everyone, uh, today I'm going to discuss about C Sharp Events Art class. Uh, and Event Art class is a base class for classes containing event data in C Sharp. Uh, I'm going to show you how to use Event Arcs to publish and subscribe events. And a direct example here is the sequence diagram where uh, form, form 1 subscribes to an event uh, publish in my event class then a user will, will click on a button to create a new form then form 2 will subscribe uh, to the publish event okay user is going to come back and click on the button and event notification is sent out to the subscriber and in this case the subscriber is form 2 uh, form 2 then uh, gets a, the event notification and then update the text box with the proper information. Okay, so let's jump into Microsoft Visual Studio and try to find out what event arts can do. Okay, so uh, right now I'm going to create a win form with uh, three buttons and a text box. The first button will um, spawn out a new window, a new form. The second one will be um, saying hello. The second, the, the third one will say bye and we have a text box here that will receive the input from what um, we subscribe. And right now what we don't have yet is the event class that I'm going to be creating. So here um, we're going to go ahead and right click and add uh, class and we're going to call this my event and click on add and make sure that this is a public class my event and we got to interface with event arcs okay I'm going to create a couple of public variable and the first one is public string string info okay the second one will be public static event event handler my event and the actual event name I'm gonna call simply event one for now so this is what um, if the application can uh, subscribe to this is the event and we're gonna create a CTOR constructor and we call it my event okay I'm gonna get I'm also going to create another CTOR which uh, is overloaded with a string uh, okay and in this CTOR I'm going to set uh, string info equal to string okay then I'm going to create another method uh, virtual method so protected Okay, protected means only visible inside this class. Virtual means that uh, this can be overwritten by a uh, uh, derived class. And I'm going to call it on change event. And I'm going to pass in my event. And then from here, this is where I'm going to invoke the event. So simply put event uh, invoke. E. Okay. So the question mark is is going to uh, it's almost like a shorthand to check to see if the event is null. If it's not null, then go ahead and invoke it. Okay. And then I'm going to create a public. Um, 
void send event info so what this is going to do is uh, the uh, you can send event no notification using this method here so it's going to call the on change that we created up here Okay, on change new my event and then string information. Okay, provided. So that will be the class um, for uh, publishing and subscribing event to. Okay, so um, what I need to do is also need to create another form going to call form 2 so do add win form and form 2 let's default that name to form 2 I'm going to go ahead and create a text box in here so this text box um, this is where if we receive um, New information is going to update it. So let's take a look at the code. And in the code, we're going to go and uh, subscribe to the event. So my event. Okay. Event one. And to subscribe, we do plus equal and then tab. And that's going to create the routine, uh, I'm sorry, the callback, which we can update the actual text box. So set text box equal to E and string information. Okay. And one thing in C Sharp is that when you subscribe, uh, for um, an event, you also want to delete that. So copy this. So do a negative equal to remove that so that you don't have any memory leaks. Okay, so that's creating the form two already. And so we've got to go back to form one and uh, do the other things. Okay, so in form one, we're going to go ahead and um, I'm going to go ahead and create a couple new variables on the top. So we're going to say private my event. Um, and I'm going to say mm, object. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and create uh, form two, form two object. Okay. In the CTOR, the Form 1 uh, constructor, uh, I'm going to go ahead and instantiate the uh, new form object, uh, sorry, new event object. Okay. So, what we probably want to name this is my event object. And so in button one, what we can do is uh, we need to subscribe uh, to those events, right? So to do that, we do the same thing, my event, event one, do uh, plus equal here, and that's going to create, uh, and then cl click on tab, and it's going to automatically create this uh, callback method for us. I actually click on apply here. So, apply. so here uh, we say text box one in the form one is going to be updating the new info. Okay. 
make sure to have a semicolon otherwise it won't compile and then make sure to delete that when you uh, subscribe to a new event to prevent memory leak. Okay, so in this, uh, when the user click on button one, let's go back to button one. Okay, so, um, so button one. Uh, Actually, you know, button one will just be generating uh, a new form, so we probably don't need um, anything. But uh, so, what we probably think about doing is probably generating a new form, basically from button one instead of subscribing to events to it. So I think in this case we need to do say form two equal uh, to new form 2 and do form 2 show okay so let's let's copy this to the other buttons and yeah, let's move it uh, this code to the other buttons so So let's put this in hello. Okay. So um, then we can say um, right here um, my event object okay at this point we could say okay my event object I can do a send info event info and I said okay um, the button one is associated with hello so I can say hello okay, and you can copy this code again to buy right so we can say when we click on buy, we're going to send the info to say buy. So everybody else who subscribed to it gets the buy message. Okay, so let's, um, so all the code is completed now. So let's do a compilation, see how it works. Okay, so uh, as you can see here, the windows pop up. We click on new, it's going to generate a new form. We click on again, it's going to generate another form. Okay, so you can see that there are three, two forms here. So when we click on hello, okay, as you can see, these forms get the message, including the parent form. The child forms get the message, the parent form gets the message. See that? So we can see uh, whenever we uh, we create a new window, that window instantly gets uh, the new message when we send the message. Okay, so this is a uh, pretty long tutorial, but uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel, and uh, there will be more videos to come. So thank you very much for taking the time to watch this. We'll see you next time.